you like Netflix. Well, I said Netflix is an interesting company. I thought that they disrupted uh, you know, cable television, disrupted movies. You know, when I uh, looked at that company, I don't know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, then uh, I went out to their facility in Long Island. Mm -hmm. And they were, we were taking CDs and yep. uh, DVDs, DVDs and, and sending in the mail. In the mail. So, so Reed Hastings says, look, Ron, this is, you know, I said, I, said, I don't get Netflix. What's that name mean? And he said, it's about streaming. He says, if I wanted to have a business that was sending DVDs through the mail, I would have called this DVDs through the mail. <laughs> we call it Netflix, streaming business. So, so businesses, now Spotify, uh, they're dis disrupting Apple. Apple right. disrupted uh, uh, CD business. Charles Schwab, they disrupted uh, 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 other, bro uh, other brokerage firms, initially a discount broker, and now they have, we invested in them in 1992. They had $60 billion of customer assets there. They now have three and a half trillion. Stocks up 50 or 60 times. Uh, SpaceX, investing in SpaceX now. Uh, SpaceX, really interesting that I, I'm, I, I can't- This is a private investment. For Barron Capital, for right. Barron Funds. Right. So Barron Partners owns a Barron uh, focus group. No, but pri private investment that SpaceX is not a publicly traded company. It's, pub it's private now. I don't know how long it's going to remain private. I presume for some period of time. I would love to have Gwen Shotwell speak at our annual meeting. But basically their disruption is that it used to be that you would send up these rockets and you'd have Boeing and Lockheed and uh, uh, they'd be spending hundreds of millions of dollars. And do you remember when John Glenn goes up and then the stages fall off of the rockets and they throw them away? and they burn up in the atmosphere, will cost $250,000 in fuel to fly for one of these rockets. That's right. it, $250,000. And they throw away hundreds of millions of dollars. So SpaceX says, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reuse the rockets over and over and over again. We're gonna take them up, just like you see in the movies. Like the space right. shuttle. Yes, and then land them again. And so people say, no, you can't do that. That's like taking a pencil and having it land on the eraser. Well, they can do it, they, they proved it. China says SpaceX is 10 years, in, in a Wall Street Journal, uh, you know, editorial, they say, China says, SpaceX uh, is 10 years ahead of us, ahead of China. They said, surprisingly, it's a, a private company is 10 right. years ahead of us.